Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Well, we're in the final days of March, and before the month is over, a bit of a winter chill coming. More on that in just a moment. Right now, it's fairly mild across the state for this time of day, this time of year. Uh, we've got 40 or better up and down 91, and as well along the 95 corridor, 30s throughout western and northwest, northwest and northeast Connecticut, with a bit of a light northwesterly breeze at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Nothing too terribly strong. Our uh, skies have gone clear, looking live from Waterbury, 36 in the Brass City, and as well looking live from Mystic. Uh, a few clouds perhaps lingering in a few spots, but uh, otherwise clear tonight. A few clouds from the west may overspread southern New England through the overnight time frame, but basically mainly clear, and tomorrow we'll see plenty of sun as high pressure builds in. Wet weather that's through the mid-Atlantic heads out to see our next weather maker uh, bringing uh, that shot of cold air in our direction is with this cold front moving through the northern plains into the upper Midwest. So an early warning to that winter chill coming for Thursday. In the meantime, tonight temperatures inland drop to freezing or below upper 20s, low 30s, low 30s along the 95 corridor. And then for tomorrow, uh, by the afternoon, well into the mid-50s, we go inland, close to 50 with a little bit of a sea breeze coming in out of the south along the shoreline. Tomorrow evening, cloud cover increases toward and after sunset in advance of this front that's going to move through. Notice with it a narrow band of precip. Some rain could be briefly heavy, maybe even a rumble of thunder. Also, a transition over to snow. A snow squall cannot be ruled out as this front pushes through southern New England. This is happening though tomorrow night while many of us are sleeping in a pretty small window of time. It's offshore. Not only is the precip over by the Thursday morning commute, uh, but we'll see plenty of clearing by then as well. So for our Thursday, we'll start off with temperatures at or below freezing near 30 by the afternoon only reach the low 40s, nearly 10 degrees below average for this time of year. Ample sunshine but that wind is going to make it feel even colder. Wind chill values to start your Thursday morning uh, will be in the teens. And as we head through the middle part of the day, come up to the 20s and by the evening commute up into the 30s. And that's as air temperatures top out in the uh, 40 to 45 degree range. Uh, so for our Friday, high pressure moves offshore on the backside of that. A southwesterly flow develops. We'll see increasing cloudiness and the chance for some late day showers. As a storm system heads into the Great Lakes, the southwesterly flow gets stronger Longer, and that's going to pump really warm air into Connecticut for the start of the weekend, at least for the first half of it. So Saturday looking wet, mild, also quite windy, gusts up to maybe even over 30 miles an hour. So uh, looking a bit wet again, soggy for our Saturday. And then the cold front moves through later Saturday evening. Behind that, a dry, brighter, breezy into the weekend. So Sunday certainly, look, certainly looking like the better of the two weekend days. So again, for tomorrow, mid 50s behind that cold front that could lead to a few slick spots in the higher train of northwest and northeast Connecticut for the Thursday morning commute, much cooler between 40 and 45 with that wind that makes it feel even chillier. We're back in the low 50s on Friday, then the upcoming weekend. Well into the 60s we go, but it's going to be wet and windy. And then Sunday, brighter, breezy, but cooler. Highs between 50 and 55. Monday and Tuesday of next week, we're heading back to 60, if not warmer, especially across inland Connecticut. Of course, want to bring you the very latest if you're perhaps heading to Houston uh, with the Final Four happening on Saturday. Temperatures in the low 80s. If you're heading to Houston uh, in advance, you know, plan for more summer-like weather with temperatures in the 80s if you're going to be out exploring. And then, uh, you know, as we expect UConn to move on to the championship game on Monday, by then highs in the mid-80s. All right, Mark, thank you very much. Still ahead right